Alright, welcome to another Civilization VI video. This is going to be a bit, trying to be in a bit more tutorialish than some of the other videos, and I'm making this at the request of somebody who asked to see a more peaceful game as Japan on a continent's map and per difficulty. Everything else is just standard. So let's talk about Japan real fast. Um, so you get additional adjacency bonuses, that's nice. Samurai, meh, especially if we're not doing anything offensive. Electronics Factory used to be much better. Not nearly as good now that factories don't stack. Um, then, of course, you have the Divine Wind. You get combat bonuses on the coast, in naval or land. And Encampment Holy Site and Theater Square Districts are built at twice the normal speed. So let's get this started. So we're going to try to talk a lot about like why we're doing each decision. Um, I'm not going to cover like the super, super basic things, like if you're not aware of how to get a unit to attack another one or something, or how to move units, or how to choose production, like I'm not going over that. But in terms of like why I'm producing what I'm producing, and why I'm researching certain texts, all of that, I will be going into that kind of stuff as much as I can. Um, apologize for any mistakes I make in advance. People truly understand what it is to practice balance, and even your finest samurai will be well learned and spiritually apt. Be strong, embrace the divine wind, and you will reach enlightenment. Enlightenment, yay. Okay, so first of all, we're going to the bottom left. We're going to the map options. We are showing the yields. What do we got? Um, this isn't a great start. It's not a terrible start, I guess. It's not a great start. I'm going to take a look over here real fast. So that's stone. Probably going to try to make districts over there. Hmm. I'm going to try to keep this clear of any special planning stuff. I'm going to try to not be doing complicated things because this is Emperor difficulty, not, you know, deity or something. I'm trying to show a more basic solid guide for people to understand. Um, so we're going to try to follow some simple rules to get by here. So first of all, settling. Uh, we ideally want a tile. The basic rule is that if your city will automatically provide two food and one production. If you have more than that, you get the bonus. So if I settle on this hill here, right, I get two food and two production. If I settled on the cattle, I get three food and one production. But... Um, if I settled on the plains here, I'd only get two food and one production. If I settled on this quarry, I'd get two food and one production. Right? Nothing would change there. So you want to settle in, and if I settle on grassland hill, like this over here, two food, one production, I don't, I basically waste the hill. So you only want to settle on something that has at least three food or at least two production. And note that settling on forest will destroy the forest. So if we settle there, that'll turn into plains, which is just one food, one production, so we get no bonus from that either. Good? Cool. So, production is generally king, and along those lines, we're not going to worry about micromanaging our city. We should, but for the purpose of this, we're just focused on trying to do something simple, repeatable, and effective. So we're just, just going to set things to production focus, and we're going to let things just go from there. We're never going to adjust our citizens. But now what do we want to do? Well, we have monuments, which are pretty good. Probably don't want to build those quite off the bat, though. We have settlers, builders... Scouts, warriors, slingers. Scouts are generally kind of useless. Um, you know, you could build a slinger for a whole five more production, which upgrades into archers, which we want. You could build a warrior for ten more production, right? It's 30 versus 40. Builders are good, um, but we don't even have that much to improve, right? We need animal husbandry for that, or mining for stone, right? Uh, that's not going to be a priority of ours. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on trying to get out a few slingers and then a few warriors. We're going to go for this, what I'm going to call sort of right now, a golden ratio of one to one. We're just going to go for three warriors, three slingers. This ensures we have the units to tank the hits, and then once we get those slingers upgraded to archers, we have archers. Now, more archers is better, but slingers by themselves are really weak, so we're just going to go for three for right now. This is literally all we're going to do to start three. Uh, we're going to make three slingers and then two warriors to back them up and we're going to try to get a, a kill with the slinger. Now I have to choose our research. So we're going to open the technology tree. We're just going to go to animal husbandry because we want to get archery really quickly because the archer is really 
really good at just dealing with stuff, and slingers are really, really bad at dealing with stuff. Uh, so we're going to go for animal husbandry first, and then we're going to start on archery. And we'll do something as, as we get closer that'll show you a little trick. Other than that, we are just going to be exploring around. So we see that we have some desert over here. Interesting, if we could get Petra, that would be a really good spot. And look at that, we already found a barbarian encampment. We found Lisbon, that's nice. Uh, commercial is really good. Gives an extra four gold in the capital, then the other bonuses are in commercial district. I would say that the science and commercial districts are the best ones. And we found one right away, and I think it's sewers and bonus is even decent, isn't it? Yeah, if we want to... Cr it's not amazing, I guess. But if we have uh, trade routes and waters, which for Japan we might settle on the coast, right? Uh, they can't be plundered, so that's not a terrible bonus. Not as good as some others, sure, but still. The Pantanal is the most complex Ooh. intertropical alluvial plain of the planet, and perhaps the least known area of the world. How interesting. Okay, now that's a marsh. Okay, so we're probably going to try to get like a city over here someplace, maybe. We could settle on the woods, but keeping the woods and the elephant is going to be an awesome pile. So we could like settle there, work the elephant, and then expand and get a shit ton of culture from that natural wonder there. It's probably going to be our goal. See that these barbarians found us. We're going to tell him to fortify for a turn or two. Now we're going to make another slinger. And the barbarian scout is going to run away. As expected. We're not going to really be able to catch him before he gets to the camp, so we're going to have to be ready to defend against the Barbarian Onslaught here soon. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think they'll kill it. That's not bad up there. That looks like a very nice spot to put a campus. I am fond of pigs. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down. All right. So we don't want to attack them because we don't want to live spin to steal our kill, which they probably will anyway. I'm hoping they basically attack and get him super low, and then I can finish him off. Found a tribal village. more coast up there. Now what I was going to show you is that once we got halfway to the slinger, we were going to swap off to something else. I was halfway to the archery because we need to trigger the inspiration, but now we'll get the inspiration. So we don't even have to do that. And now we're six turns from getting archers. And we get our barbarian encampment cleared. And we can't move anywhere else because he's blocking us. And we want to get one more slinger here. I want to explore the other direction. I don't think it's a promotion. Oh, it's a slinger if we wanted to. 
And right now we want to keep exploring with our warrior. And we'll fog. We're doing what's called fog busting here. Oh, he's just coming back to heal technically, but you know. See, we see a barbarian warrior over there, so we're just going to chill and fortify here because I don't want to. Get, he's going to get injured, and the code of laws will help too. So we're just going to fortify him. Enacting new policies. We can enact new policies, yay! Let me see the coastline there. Choose civic. We'll start, but again, as we get as we get to the fifty percent point, if we haven't finished it, we're just going to leave it. Fill policy slots. We want strength versus barbarians, and we're going to actually go for. <laughs> we'll go ahead and go for God King. Why? Because although urban planning is quite good. 25 faith, I think it is, gets us a pantheon, and there's often a decent chunk of pantheons. So we're not actually going to go for religion here. We're just going to try to say, you know, we want a pantheon, because hopefully there's at least one good one left. And now we have a combat bonus. We're able to fire away here. Hurt him a bit. See, there's going to be like a small swarm of barbarians here. And so we're actually going to pull back our slinger because he's not going to hold up very well versus the archer. Like the archer goes from five to fifteen fighting strength and fifteen to twenty-five range strength. So you know, it's just a minor improvement. We are by the grace of God, Victoria, Queen Hi, Victoria. of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. And soon, dare I say, the Empire. I'll try to be nice. See, the barbarians are coming, but it's like, okay, what are they going to do about it? Now we have an archer there. This guy will be an archer next turn. We'll set our warrior off to explore in that direction. And we see that uh, this got turned into making an archer, technically. Now we're going to want some other basic things like um, mining, for sure. How do we both? We can't get respawn bonuses towards those, so. The writing won't be bad. <laughs> Why am I making these noises? Because on one hand, we really should be working. You know, I'd rather have... Nah. Okay, I lied. We're going to show a few things here, because this is at least Emperor. Uh, more like... Why are they working that tile over this tile? I mean, if I do that, like, wh why would you not work that tile instead? Because it's giving you just an extra fruit. This game is stupid at times. Okay, we're just gonna, we're, we're locking in, we're saying, hmm, with this production tile, and we're gonna take that, it gives us food and that. You notice that this doesn't update either, it still says 19, when it's really 10 turns towards growth. The UI in this game is really bad at times. I'm sorry, but it is. We're just upgrading all this. We're letting him heal. Like, if the barbarians come over here, they're just going to be pummeled by our, our archers. That's the idea. So we can't hit them up there because we have these in the way. That's the unfortunate problem. Now we're going to build two more warriors to help.
And now we can see. And we just clean that right up. And these guys, we're going to go ahead and give them a promotion. They have a while to heal. We'll give them the volley. And that's still be fully healed after this turn and we're ready to go versus whatever is needed. That's going to be a really nice city spot up there that we're going to go for. But that's just ivory on hills. That is a really good city spot settling right on the ivory though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With Japan's bonuses, I might actually settle further up there. That way we can be right, we put like the city there and another district there and then we'll get literally plus six science from that campus and just buy out that ivory tile right away. I like that idea more, I think. It also gives our capital the full room to work. So now we're going to use uh, archers, since they're okay. We're going to explore a little bit with them as well and figure out where these barbarians are coming from. Bonus towards state workforce, and I don't think this really helps us any, but we'll try it. So if we put one, hmm. So if we put a city over here, I'm gonna need something with decent housing. That's what this kind of comes down to. So if we put a city here. Even if we put a city here, we don't get the full marsh. We're going to have to put another one up there someplace. If I put it here, we'll get a city that covers this region. So I might like put a city there. And then a city over there. Then a city like up on those cattle right there. Maybe I'll do something like that. I could do that. Only the capital needs to be big. The rest can be pretty small. Mm, good other stuff over there, too. That looks like another good city spot right there. And there's the Bavarian camp. We have found it. Find yourself in a hole. Quit digging. Now we're going to make one last warrior before we get started on economic stuff. You can see the barbarians decided to start getting a little frisky and came over here. Looks like there's good land in general over there. We'll send this warrior over in this direction. roaming around with two scouts up there for some reason. Baron's probably going to attack the archer, which is fine. We have defensive terrain advantages and plus five bonus. See, they traded nearly equally. He's still there. Now he's not. Is this just like a dead end here? It is. But holy cow, science. So if I put a city there, one, two, three, I guess I could put like a city, hmm. I wonder what's over in this direction. Cause that city there, that is such an amazing, all those mountains, just look at all those mountains. And I guess I could put the city in this direction over there, even. It'd be 
lose the ivory, we gain the horses at the start. Then we'd lose the city up there, though, because it'd be too close. Another one, I guess, one, two, three, that would be fine. So if we put a city there, we can't reach that. It'd nice, it would be nice to be able to reach in that general area. We already have people earning great profit points per turn. We don't even have, uh... We'd have, you know, yeah, this is the problem. It's just a pain to get. I suppose we could have started it, maybe, but, yeah. Look, we'd have been to give up these military forces that we kind of might need. One of my first Emperor games, I lost by this turn because they didn't have enough military forces. Just got invaded by uh, Cleopatra. And I didn't realize just how weak cities were. You know, whole 13 strength. She just sent four warriors, and all I had was a slinger. And, um... Slinger and a warrior wasn't enough. I guess Linden's down there, isn't it? Okay. You tread on dangerous waters in the face of England and her loyal colonies. What am I doing to piss you off? We're on the same continent, aren't we? Oh, we're in different continents, that's why she doesn't like us. Are you willing to accept a delegation? No, okay, so this might wind up being war with her. Not that I'm going to declare war, but she might declare war on us. Our city state. Militaristic city state? I'm still just looking around. This is the good news, right? Like, we're still close to her in military strength, at least. And especially with, with our archers, we'll be able to defend ourselves. Looks like we might have a spot. We could set a city up over there and use that. That wouldn't be bad. Just so we see that area of the map. We have one blank square, but our Bavarian camps can't spawn there because it's inside range of Lisbon, so we don't actually need to bother fully discovering it. We have another warrior. Yay! Send them off in that direction. So now do we want to build? Um, and we should have changed craftsmanship off. Didn't we discover? I guess we haven't discovered the second continent yet. So yeah, three turns ago, we should have changed craftsmanship to something else because now we've wasted culture because we've gone to three past what we needed. Um, along those lines, though, we're going to build. Mm, let's build a monument first, I think. Arg. Sure, we'll get the monument done. Let's just do it. Yeah, if we could put like a river right there, that'd be good. And hopefully, we'll f if we go to the continent lens. I assume we need to go a little bit further, and there's England's second city over there. No man ever wetted clay. Who's the first great scientist? Three things. Okay, that's fine. We don't care about those. Not really. I'm gonna bring our archers 
back in a few turns. We're just trying to get the that right there. The archers, what we're going to use against the barbarians. The warriors are just to hold the line versus military units if needed. Speaking of military, 126 to 153, so we're close enough. I don't think she's going to try to declare war. Let's see if we can find anything interesting over there. You can go in that, down in that direction. that just ends there, kind of expected. We're just going to be watching out in this area. I'm just putting these all on alert and we're waiting for that sound of the barbarian camp spawning. There goes Stonehenge, turn 35. I don't like the way those warriors are moving. We have recently get Writing is easy. We're pulling back to the capital. She has like two warriors there and another one over there. We're pulling our units back in general. Choose our research. Bronze working reveals iron and we've killed the barbarians, so that's a good choice. We want a worker out now. Though, uh, before we do that... Go to our campus lens, you see what we see here. If we're going to keep those reinforced, that wouldn't be terrible, but we're not planning too long term. The sheep is at a good spot, but we'd also be giving up the sheep there. Still plus three. Hmm. I kind of just don't think I want to give up. Honestly, I'd rather give up the stone over there. But I don't think we can even put a campus there technically, right? Because we, we need to be able to harvest stone, which is done by masonry. So that'll actually be a little bit. So we'll build a quarry here in a second. So that'll work. Okay, so we want a builder. She should bring in more warriors up, that makes me nervous. Not nervous about surviving, but nervous that she might be about to declare war. See, we started on different continents, so she hates us. We had no control over that, nothing we can do to change that, she just hates us. start early empire because one of the things we're going for here is uh, political philosophy. Still need to meet another city-state to do it though. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but we'll try. You know what? We have those other warriors. We'll send this guy down. And three archers plus two warriors, easily enough to defend our city, I'm not worried. We should keep scouting. 
We got a Pantheon. Excellent. Divine Spark. That's what I was hoping for. We get an extra Great Scientist, Great Great Prophet, and Theater Square points per thing. Great Prophets. Somebody already has it. Other people are getting two plus points per turn. Yeah. It's like if you get the last religion, often it's kind of crappy at that point anyway. It kind of tops everything else off all the other problems. So what are we working, I wonder? That makes sense. I think I'm going to buy this tile, though. I'll be working that. That gives us an extra food and an extra production. And we have the money. So he fortifies there. It's like, let them come. They're going to have to... A victorious declared war in Preslav. That's not cool. What does Preslav give again? Light and heavy cavalry have bonus. So England's probably going to capture it. Maybe we'll liberate it later on. I don't know. Okay, so we'll start here. One. And uh, we'll go ahead and start early Empire. We're probably just going to hard research early Empire, frankly. And we'll try to set it up so we can start producing settlers right after that. So we're going to get builders set up so our capital can be really churning stuff out once it's ready. So he's fortified here, we can fortify there, so we have three archers that are firing at these two spots, which are the only spots you can attack. It's kind of like, good luck with that. There we go, there's a new one. Political philosophy is not boosted. Harvest that's no, you know what? We're going to go for the sheep first. I'm also interested. Oh, she has extra cities now. We have iron, it's a little bit down there. And that's the only, I guess there's one iron over there. Okay, so there's two iron in the vicinity. Um, we don't have irrigation we'll need, but we also don't have any resource to farm for a while. I guess there's the rice up there, but we're going to go ahead and hard research irrigation as a result. Then we need masonry first to allow the harvest of stone, if that's what it was. Then we'll go for irrigation. It's a good thing I didn't go over there, because that slipped my mind. I'm making seven gold a turn, that 140 gold, how much money do you expect me to get? Jeez. Skill without and we get craftsmanship. Now we can get plus one production on all cities. I'm still going to keep the VAT because we're not really producing military units right now. And what are we going to do next? We can build encampments really quickly, and that's the good news. Speaking of encampments, though, let's see. If we want to go for Alhambra, which is a good one, it must be built on hills adjacent to an encampment. If 
And right now the question is, but we don't we want to give up the least bad thing. And I could build it there, but we'd lose the woods without harvesting it, which is not so great. If I build it here, we don't have a hill surrounding it. I guess we have the sheep hills, but we can't build the wonder over there, that's too far. I think I'm kind of lying because I originally said I wasn't going to worry about this, wasn't I? We don't need an encampment. We're not We're not going to worry about that special stuff. We're, we're just going to go with solid, repeatable things. We are going to want a trader, though, and a trader, too. Uh, Lisbon, at a minimum, is good, and it'll help establish other stuff. So we're going to go with that. We're also going to need more builders, still. And how far are we away from eight turns? Okay, so we're going to do a builder, and then a trader, and then we should be able to start cranking out settlers, more or less, I think. How about this? We don't really need the money. Let's go to Granary, otherwise our growth is going to slow soon. You see that we're working that, we're working that, we're working those two, that's good. This builder is going to improve this. And with that, we're going to really want to go to there. See that Breslov is going to get wrecked. How long would it take to get over there? Like three turns, and then we need to get back to harvest that, but we'll probably build the campus later on. We'll set it down first, then. I'm just exploring around for now. Goodbye, press love. <laughs> I'm at Zanzibar. We want triggering inspiration for early empire. That's not going to happen. Sorry. Zanzibar's kind of demanding, aren't they? We have quite a few nice tiles over here, and as we grow, we'll gain access to the other ones. Then you're going over there, which will take some time, that's fine. What do we want to build next? Uh, I think we said we're going to make another builder, right? Hmm, kind of questioning that though, I'll admit. The flip side, picking up, that would be nice if we can do that in one turn. A trader just gives us a little bit more income, but it triggers the inspiration arg. <laughs> we still need to mine a resource to get the wheel, which we are going to want, so you know what? We'll skip the trader for right now. Or we can vote it right after this, I don't know, we'll see. Your grace, we when wasteful war Alright. Now we're just trying to uncover the map. Defensive here, we're watching for barbarian camps which might spawn. All that's fine. I guess we found the barbarian camp, didn't we? Well, you know what they say, that's London's problem now. Well, that's what I'm saying, at least. That's a legitimate barbarian horseman. It was luxuries like air candy. That's a freaking legitimate barbarian horseman. That arc.
we're just gonna fortify. Then we wanna get going to political philosophy. And we have extra house since we can keep growing. Oh no, oh no you don't. Oh no you, oh no you goddamn don't England. Did you see that? They were sending a settler up here. And I meant to change that last turn and I didn't for 35 gold. Could I unlock it? Or I just wait. I might just wait. You know what, we'll unlock it. That's what it should have been. I cannot believe this. No, England, you are not coming up past my goddamn capital. There's a settler done. I'm so we're going to settle over here, I think, right? Now let's just get another one over there. So we need one here. Let's work this backward. One city there. Then one, two, three. We could put one there. Or there. There would be a good spot for. A, hmm. It's gonna get kind of crowded over here, isn't it? Let's see if we put it right on the dime. We can't put it right on the diamonds. So we'd have to put it there. So we put that there. Then we have one, two, three. Put another one there. One, two, three. We can put another one there. We have room for one up there. Does that really make a difference, right? Like suddenly over there, we don't get the ivory and we don't get the horses. I think we might be a bit better off just going to her up here. We'll also claim the sector against England, who's... who's... kind of sums it up. So we lost a citizen, but we're making sure we're working some good food stuff here. I'm sorry, but if England settles a city, a city right there, I'm going to capture it. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't care what I said at the start of this video. They're coming up past north, past my capital to settle up there. That's dead. I don't even have the option to tell them to not settle near me. It's like, do not settle there. Don't. One, two, three, four tiles away from my capital. Do you, do you see that? Screw you. I'm done with this. I am so, so done with this. I think they destroyed some forest that was there too. 
they ruined the forest. So for now I'm going to send the settler. I guess I'll send him over to there. I'll start that city. Like, that's a terrible tile to settle on. That's part of the annoyance, but I don't think I have that much of a choice. Not if I want to get another city over there. Zanzibar declared war on me, isn't that wonderful? Oh, you're seriously wounded. Have to try to run. He's probably dead. And got that at least, so you can work there. More gold per turn. If I stay in fight, I'm going to die just because I take counterattacking damage. And let's see if we can surround it like this, right? Do we get the siege bonus? place that encampment and should. So that gives us, we need one, two, three, four, five is like the number of settlers we're looking for for right now, so we're going to keep building. And that's bad. Like this warrior's probably just dead. eating two tiles from my Thousands capital that my capital can't get back. Economy. I'm not allowing that. I'm not allowing them to settle there. I'm raising this sucking thing to the ground. I'm sorry, but this is an example of one thing I just hate about Civ 6. They went past my capital. They, they, they could, if they settled in there, would have, that would have been bad enough. Conquering Prezla was bad enough. But they went all the way up freaking there. Wheel is fine. Got a monument, we're gonna say be production focused. In this case though we're going to be working. Actually we do want that. That can work be worked next. We want the production. Wire just chills. This land is my land, this land is not your land, get away from my land. I'll burn your cities to the ground, land. This land was made for me and not for you.
Goodbye, struck upon Trent. Don't come back. The war, she's like, well, we lost that city. Okay, now, England, do you want peace? Just keep your units away from my land. I don't understand why they're not firing, but I guess if they're not firing, I shouldn't complain. So if I go and fight, I guess I might be able to win this fight, but... Let's let them break the fortification first, I guess. Why do you keep getting out of the promotion screen? Because you finished your movement? That's really stupid. Well, I couldn't get me London. I'll wait today. That is good. It's going to take a while to grow, but... Let's actually go for that. So we need to keep growing still. What did we stop working? Okay, that makes sense. It's like Archer, the Archer right there could fire into a warrior, which would be bad, but now he has to come up to here, which means both Archers there can fire back at him. That's the goal. And we need to improve the diamonds. Just from the other direction. Monument. Projection focused is good. It would cost 70 to buy, so we can't do it quite yet. Okay, so you just flat out don't want peace. I guess because she figures her military score is too high. I don't know. What do we want over here? We don't really care about the sailing or astrology or any of those. Currency is probably next after horseback riding. We'd like to build an iron mine, but we need to figure out what to do with Victoria first. That's definitely a problem here. here you know what? You work that. That's too good. That'll grow like a turn sooner, and then we can go back to working that. Wait, no, no, wait, no, no, what? Why? Shouldn't they be, weren't they alerted? Shouldn't they be on alert? Why wouldn't, arg? <laughs> Look, see, now she's like, oh, I'll give you all this stuff if you go to peace. Nine is no, eight. Alright, you give me basically 245 gold. We're, see, we're at peace.
three turns to political philosophy. Just taking a while, because normally I build a monument sooner, but I didn't want to take the risk here. Not just Japan. Build a monument, we're going to start working you on the horses. You can buy that, since so we can lock in the campus there. The reason we lock in the campus is it prevents the cost from increasing. That's why we do that. Anything interesting down here? Normally what I like to go is autocracy for the plus one bonus to capital yield so it grows faster and produces faster and gives science and culture and all that. Which I might still do here. The opportunity. Politics is the art. Oligarchy, it's like oligarchy is the main other thing. See, plus one production is not, you know, plus one amenity isn't bad, it's not amazing. The two economic things is nice. We still probably want at least a one military do. We would keep the wild card slot. It's like autocracy, right? We can keep like a production thing if needed, professional army, and keep the maintenance cost thing. We're not really hurting for gold right now. Normally, go autocracy because I'm like fighting a lot more at the start, but we're trying not to do that here. So we'll do something different. We'll try going for a classical republic, I guess. We can always use the wild card slot for military stuff. Barbarians aren't a huge problem right now. So we want one production in all cities. Plus two influence points per turn, sounds good. And then... I want our last one to be, because this one isn't so great. That's a little, only two gold maybe. We don't want this yet, that will save that for feudalism. This one, we don't need. That one, we don't need. This one, we don't need. That's the thing, like, we don't need this. Until later, we don't need the economic slots. I probably should have just gone to autocracy, because that would have given us an extra gold science culture, right? That would have been, like, 12%, what, 12% more science and 16% more culture for now, at the time when we kind of wanted the most. I guess we'll just keep discipline, because the three gold per turn... You know, we can always swap it later. We'll just use this to keep the three gold per turn. So we, what do we want to do next? Military tradition for sure. We'll need construction that. We're probably not going to build a wonder, so we can hard research that. So we're going to build one more settler in this initial push out of settlers. You are just going to go settle right up on that kettle. We have one more settler to go. And so we should also probably build a city down here to the south, try to pick up things like that iron mine. So, but I'm just trying to settle the stuff up here first. We could build a settler in 14 turns, couldn't we? It's actually not too shabby. Let's just keep getting out settlers for now. This is going to be some kind of uh, natural wonder about to find down there. Choose research. What do we actually need? We're not going to build ancient walls, probably. So, we'll ignore that. Yosemite Valley There's to Yosemite. Is always a sunrise. Guess it gives one gold and one science for Jason tiles, okay.
I'm assuming we were getting that, yeah, okay. My liege. So an envoy. How much does it cost to unlock? 135 gold, I don't think we're gonna do that. We will need mysticism eventually. So what we're going to do is we're going to send, save this envoy and we're going to send it to Zanzibar and it'll count as two because we're going to swap to that policy for that specific envoy. And then we'll swap back to the larger gain in points. We're still just exploring. I'm making 25 gold a turn and I have 250 in the bank. What do you expect, Victoria? So this city is kind of not going to be doing a ton. Like we're just taking it for the extra like culture right off the bat and it'll work those tiles as it grows. And we get an extra food because we settled on the cattle. And I suppose we should buy that tile because we're going to make a campus there. And in this city, we should buy that tile too. Could have far more work here soon. Is the mistake. Okay, so we can settle down here. I want to settle on a river. Right there seems decent. One, two, three, four. See, so we're settling further out from your capital, England. All's fair, right? So that your capital can't ever even use those bananas. All right, I'm not taking them from England because England can't even use it. England settled there past me. I'm just settling here. And I would settle further away if it was feasible, but like there is losing the bananas and other stuff, or at least not getting it early, so maybe I could settle there. I'll be nice and I'll settle here. She's going to hate me no matter what, so it kind of feels like a lost cause, but I'm not going to actually build a wonder. Let's build a, a water mill, though. Now we swap to change policies. Then we send Zanzibar, an envoy. And do we bother with Yerevan? I guess we get two. What does Yerevan even give, though? Like, we're not doing religion, so I don't really think there's a ton of point in that, to be frank. But I do want to make sure Lisbon is our friend, so we're just going to do that. That should effectively give us two in each, yes. Very good. And give us even more money. And our Faithful warrior keeps exploring down there. And after we finish that, then we're going to build a water mill. If we want to up our production and stuff. Uh, that city has some other nice things, so we'll allow you to work that. Escort unit, an escort formation there. Probably worth sending up some units there. We'll keep a warrior here and an archer here. The rest will move up. since you're firing from the city. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself. I guess we just got science or something. I don't know. Oh, we just got to research for free, I guess. For free, I mean, you know, we paid for it, but whatever. So 
somebody built a great library, that's fine. It's not a very good wonder anyway. You know, if I had built the city there, I could have actually built the campus there. That That's probably why I was doing that, so that it was one, two, three away. So I'm stupid for putting it there. That city should have been over there. Dumb of me. So I think we said we're two turns till border growth. Yeah, we'll go ahead and wait. And you can be working that. It's okay if it takes you forever to build anything, because you're just existing as to give us culture. And we see that Victoria has 29 science a turn, which is much better. England has a lot more just about everything right now. Which is just kind of how the game works at early on, if you don't conquer stuff. As we were asked to play more SimCity game, we're doing that, except for destroying that stupid city there. This is a new wonder. I don't know how many wonders we'll be building, so I don't think I'm going to build it. We still want at least one. And we're founding a city here, right? So we'll go ahead and probably move it to like there to make sure it's harder to surround us. Position you here and position you there. Little water mill. We're just setting all these to production and not worrying too much. We're, we're fiddling with our capital a bit, we're not worrying about other things. So we could use one more city up there. Or maybe a city there that's two. We put another one there for like three, so like three more cities. Is it really costing us that much to make a settler now? How much are settlers costing? 180? I think, I guess they go get more expensive the more of them you make. Is that a thing? Might be. I guess we'll find out once one finishes, won't we? But that'll give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cities by about turn 100, which isn't terrible. We're settling where we please. Because she's gonna, if we tell her we won't settle, she's gonna complain when we settle over there. Even though she has like everything to the south available to her, she's going to complain because the AI in this game is stupid. Takamazu or whatever. You can have that because that way we can work. The extra science is actually very useful. So we're probably going to build a campus right there, right? Yeah. I mean, over having a, we could still build a campus there, but that's only three, right? That is, this is four. I guess it's just that's just as good as it? it's not the end of the world. Um, construction, we should be working on, right? Or we should be working on construction soon, I think. Yeah. So thirteen turns for construction. Takes six turns to do that. So see, we're getting a good amount of culture here. So what we're gonna do though is we're going for um, feudalism soon. But we also want divine right. So we're not gonna found a religion, so let's go ahead and go for theology, I guess. And we're going to swap our research, because we can finish this at some other time. We're going to go for construction first. And we can change policies, which means we want to go back to earning more influence. Reconnaissance 
Recon unit. Not the recon unit, okay. Go see what's over there, I guess. Whatever. Like, I'm fine with that camp existing down there. I can go bother England or something. So we're going to settle our claim and go over there first. Then we'll settle there for the next one. Then the last one's going to be up on that cotton. That's our plan. 19 turns. As he goes up by 20 each time, that's what's happening. Um, until we get feudalism... Uh, let's get a builder just so we can clear that, I guess, and start some of the other campuses. It's probably worth... Probably worth it, because right now we're looking at... So let's say that takes three turns, right? Plus five is eight, plus another fifteen. Feudalism's a while out. We'll get to do one more builder. Let's finish that so we should build a granary next. And then we'll get the... Is it still actually 130 per cost? It looks so. But if we were going to make a new campus now, it would cost us 151, see? Shadow gate connected. So there's nothing really interesting over there. Auto H, enter channel. I'll pick this up later on.